<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Where do we leave off? Fugitives. You forgot what happened. There was oh, yeah. loads of choices to make. Like, I did all the right ones. <laughs> I decided to stay in the car where it's safe, not with some robber guy that's going to eat my face. You're, you're fucking cocky for a new person on our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. Right, yeah, anyway, there was like loads of little side choices, wasn't there? There wasn't anything really major. No, I think we'll have the world stats on at the same time. It's Actually. N- it's not letting me. All right, so what did we do? All right. Uh, we talked to the parked android. Yeah. I mean, none of this here really led to us doing anything anyway. Although, mm-hmm. one of them did go up to this route here. So, it was enter the laundromat, which yeah. 79% of people did. Um, we stole the clothes. Ended up stealing the clothes. Yeah. And wore them. 44% of people did that. That's cool. Okay, so inside the supermarket, we talked to the clerk. Uh, we noticed the cash register. Nothing became of it. Now nah, that was the end of that run. We, so. we decided not to go that way. Now where's where's the interesting one? Yeah, the parking lot. Yeah. We had to find some wire cutters to get through a fence to go and stay in a house. So uh, that's what we went to do, and yeah. then we met Ralph, and we had a we had a conversation. Okay, uh, we ended up uh, giving up and leaving the squat. Eleven percent of people decided to not squat at the house. One of them. It's schmoopers. <laughs> I'm not having him eat my face. He's not skull fucking me. No. Okay, so we could have stayed in a car, in a shitty car, in a motel where we'd be found, or in a house where it was kind of safe, and we could have had a robot protecting us, but As no. long as we picked the right choices with the, if we had to talk to him, and then we would have been yeah. Oh my god, but there's po- you, and imagine your choices if you messed up, there'd be another death like Connor, and then you... With Carl. So I did the logical choice <laughs> and of not... Avery. And Avery. And I gave you the logical choice for not letting you kill the kid. <laughs> so we ended up going down the route of breaking into the car. Uh, just choosing to stay there. In the end. We got into the car. We spoke to Alice. We made we made the promise to stay with her forever. 76% of people couldn't promise her that we would be with her forever. Yeah, because when we actually, in a sense, get taken away from her, we kind of broke a promise. Yeah. Oh, I'm not planning yeah. on getting a take, taken away from her. No, the no. kid's been through enough. Well, shoot. Oh, wow, 26% of players stayed in the abandoned car. Thank you, Schmooples. Yes. I hope this was a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a little blink Twinkie. <laughs> oh. Twinkies already know. killed a main character, okay? There's two more main characters to kill. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm on downtime now. <laughs> 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 Done your job. Yeah. Alright, uh, shall we continue? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, November the 6th, the next. I wonder. Is that Connor? When you shot in the face? No, I think it's Avery. Oh my god, his name is not Avery. It's. My, oh my god, what's his name? We're outside in the rain. Who died outside in the rain? Oh my god, Terminator. I, I fucking know that bald head from anywhere. Marcus. It's Avery. Oh fuck. It's oh Terminator. God. Oh, he's there to oh be my destroyed. Oh god, it is Terminator too. Ooh, we managed to reboot though. Ah, oh, damn. You have to make some quick choices here. Whose choices are next? Diagnose. Next choice is yours. No, Schmoople's is because I promised. Oh, okay. Fuck. So, Corrupted Mind Palace. Palace. Oh, this wasn't the guy who shot himself, was and it? He's got impaired it vision. Avery. It is Avery. Yeah. Uh, corrupted audio data, damaged. Oh. All systems in low power mode, defective. Okay, Plus the pump one regulator. More. Where is this last? His legs, one? maybe? Penis? Oh, his feet have been taken off. Missing, unable to stand. Okay, so we're crawling. Sorry guys, if you hear the PlayStation. Replace legs. Like I said, it screams at me sometimes. I don't get if they can see what happened, why didn't they inquire? Instead of destroying him? But that's too much work, isn't it? No, we need to. It's an android, it's not important, is it? Easy to blame a crime on an android. Oh my god, we could go and revenge watch and kill Leo. Oh, I hope we get to kill him. Hang him up and shit. Okay, there's a replacement leg, is it? I think so. And Schmoopels isn't very nice. It's functional. You know, revenge isn't like. 
best way to go. You just feel worse afterwards. Do I look like a person that feels worse afterwards? It's like when you wee yourself. First it's nice and warm, but afterwards it's cold and horrible. <laughs> right now, this heat, I'd rather piss myself be cold and horrible. I'm not gonna lie. It's way too hot. Yes, uh, we are recording at Twinkie's house, and for some reason it's freaking hot as hell in here. There is no heating on, I'm just gonna clarify. Alright, right leg is now functioning, we now need to find a compatible left leg. I wonder if there's going to be a choice to put an arm as a foot or something. That would be great. I did look a bit weird, but I don't think that matters as long as you're incompatible. Okay. Man, so you're hearing what he can hear, which is really weird. It's a really muffled sound. Yeah, because he's got hearing, uh, his hearing's impaired. Hey, functional. There we go. We'll take that. And the android that we pushed over, I saw him muttering something. Oh, some of them are actually still talking and alive. So you just get left with some rot, basically. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Should be able to walk. Maybe get some way to fix the hearing. Take that guy's head off. It's a junkyard. Cheese. Escape the junkyard. Can you talk to him? I should probably have a look. Oh god, he's got no bottom half. This is his vision. Yeah, it's, it's all impaired. We we'll probably nicked that guy's legs. That's fine. He doesn't need them anymore. He's not sentient. Oh fuck! I he touched me on the screen. Stay. Oh, oh yes, you shit. fucking dickhead! I told you it happened. Please, so we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Oh, he's fucked. I'm scared the hell out of me. I knew it was going to happen, I could sense it, I could sense <laughs> that gun. I still scream like a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. That's why I don't play horror games. This isn't a horror game. This is a story game. Does that look like a story game to you? It looks like the bottom pits of hell, to be honest. Exactly. Oh, they're the moving! End, I think that's what they're trying to oh, emulate touchy. in this. They're touching. They're touching. Oh, touching. Oh, touching. I love you. I'm going to lick you. Oh, I might lick you. Oh, he touched you! Where are you going? Where am I going? Away from me, you daft bastard. Find a safe place. We this need to go. All d um. Hi there! Oh, he's he, he drunk. Oh, you found that guy's saucer. Find optical unit, find pump regulator, and something else. Did you catch that Twinkie or... Audio, or something audio. Okay, I don't think it's going to be safe to walk into any of these guys. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to try and get one because they were working, aren't they? What's that guy going in the back of being a car? Processing. Incompatible. No God, God damn it. We need an alive one. Nope. Or not. Alright, eyes. Functional. Ah, it's still incompatible though. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> funny. That was quite funny. Are right, you? I can't get to you. Okay. No. There's a guy. There's a live one over there, isn't it? Can you like fist him? Okay, go. Off. We go take your eyes. Oh. Might be able to take something off that guy. Maybe. Okay. No. no. Oh, to your left. Oh. Oh, well, we got this one. This guy's been crushed. Hey, compatible. I can actually hear now. That'll be nice. Oh. Nice. Proper going for uh, survival. Right, we can hear now. Can we? Right to your left. Oh, nice. There was some other thing. Something. So I got on the floor there, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah. one went even. Take your titties! It'll be incompatible. Oh, he's touching her breasts! Oh, compatible! You cannot just touch her breasts like that. Oh, she does not want to do it. Please, please don't do that. Oh, shit. Choices! Kill! 
someone here. Uh, it was actually your turn. I just panicked. Oh. Ah, damn it. Quick, put it in. It's like he can feel pain. Yeah, sorry. Okay, we just need our vision restored now. An optical unit. Oh, perfect. It's just a head. Blue all in one, all in one row. Blue iris. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do? You give me your eye. Please contact the nearest Cyberlife Maintenance Center. Alright, we should be all good now. He's got different colour eyes now. Yeah, that might be a problem. Run the slope. Is that the only way to go? Yeah. Climb the slope. Probably get dragged down a few times. We need to get our face fixed as well, don't we? Uh, don't they regen? I don't know. She didn't, she didn't Yeah, well, she wasn't as damaged, but... Yeah, he's got all the parts to be able to regenerate now. Don't Come on. fall. Up you go. Oh, you are right. It's a shame he can't change his uh, eye colour. Yeah. Well then, isn't that a good thing as well though? You won't recognise him as much? Changing, oh well, yeah. But he can't hide as a uh, android. Wait, what's he doing? Taking out that chip. Oh! oh. Don't need any more, do they? He said don't let it defy you, didn't he? Oh, that's a, that's a poor design choice. They, an they don't know he's an android now because he's healed over. It's a very See? yep. That's a who designed these? <laughs> he's now human. Well, in other people's eyes. This is how he starts his career. My name is Grey's Anatomy. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. Bloody Grey's Anatomy. I think he's going to be like some vigilante. Ah, oh, he might just want like a normal life. Although, what would be the fun in that, I guess? Mm. Vigilante. Okay, that was a very short one. Yeah, we'll jump straight on to the next one. Oh wait, you could have found different things. Yeah, yeah. I, I could have probably looked around, but once you actually look at something, it makes you pick something. So like... World stats. Alright, so 39% of people killed for the pump. Yeah, my bad. Find optical unit. Uh, I don't. I think it's just different types yeah. of parts. That probably would have um, been different for you further on in the game. So that eye colour might. Bite us in the ass. Yeah, or it might work in our favour. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Continue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Continue. 
I thought you died. Just saying. So it maybe that was work. the right choice then, yeah? He's fine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, but he died. Oh wow, this is a pretty place though. Let's just have a, have a quick look. It is a pretty little place. Alright, Amanda's all the way over there. I chose <coughs> to go over the bridge. Uh, it's not going to let me cross the grass. I have to be a good android. So some, the, it's like the obviously the detective ones are favourite and all, and then the cleaning ones and all that just get discarded. No, he's got information in, in within him, or Plus, it's just like really expensive. He was already uh, disobeying everything. Yeah, I think he was programmed to. So he's maybe a special one. Is this your creator? Hello, Amanda. Trusted. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. The new deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. Already. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It would be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Schmoopers? Uh, traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh, intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Oh, damn. Apparently adapt. Whoa. Adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Okay. Jesus. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. There's a special model, then. And you managed to piss her off. I don't like her anyway. I don't trust her. I don't care if she hates us. Hank is neutral. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Speak to you. I can just not speak to you and find him myself. Nope. No. I can't. Alright. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Find his desk. You might be in oh, Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference. Looks like there's a possible war about to happen. That's interesting. Android war! Well, oh, between Russia and America, was it? Yeah. 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 Um, 
Love oh, options. God. Oh man, I could ask where it is. You just talk to people. I wouldn't mind just snooping through some things. More info the better. Let's go snooping. Oh, I think it's just the uh, yeah, labels on the desk. Detective Reed. Bill Miller. Should be an empty desk, but he's up. Wilson. Huh. No name. Might be my desk. Anderson. That's Anderson's desk. Oh, I can't carry on looking. Okay. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. I do a lot of waiting. Ah, uh, okay. I have to sit down. No choice. He looks extremely comfortable. <laughs> explore the new office. Yeah, we'll explore. What can I have a look at? There's a collectible here. <gasps> Famous Detroit painter dies. Carl Manfred, one of Detroit's brightest lights. Might even want to read this one. Uh, you can pause if you want to read, I'm just reading it in my head. <laughs> oh. So they have a spook about Marcus's death. Uh, Marcus doing it though. Stress. They said it was stress. Mm -hmm. You can't say an android killed. Yeah, that would like. Start. Yeah, they said it was, um. Did yeah. a. What's it called? Dispute. Yeah, well, if, if they said that it was an android's fault, they wouldn't get any sales. Oh, you can go into the archive room. Oh. Oh, I don't think. Okay. Does, it does say explore. Yeah, we'll explore the archives. A lot of info. Who's that? Oh man, I can go in there as well. Archives. That's a cell, that is. Oh, let me in then. Let's walk through. There Should we I go. Open the door? Had to wait for that woman to move away <laughs> from the door. Authorized personnel only. Ah, oh, come on, I thought you could go against protocol. Talk to the prisoners then, maybe they can give us heads up and right. Okay, you might see somebody we know. I'm gonna keep staring, see what he does. What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you! Fuck you! I didn't do much. Should I stay for a bit longer? No, I don't think so. No, alright. So, you go down here, yeah? OBS room? What's that? Observation? Observation. Alright. Oh, this is uh, where... Twinkie killed me! Woo woo woo! Where Twinkie killed Connor. Raise your hands up in the air. <laughs> Our hands are so far down right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's like, no, woo woo. Oh, mine, mine are busy with control. Mine well, are busy like, no! Technically, no. My death is null and void because he's alive. Yeah, but his memory's in him, so technically he's Connor. So, Noodle, how does it feel like the only one to have killed the main character? <laughs> oh, stop! I, you don't know. He's not dead. He's alive. But he where's Carl? Carl's gonna die of a heart attack anyway. Yeah, but you helped. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I just quickened the process. At least I keep my guys alive. <laughs> I shut mine down temporarily. <laughs> Mine was a lot less dramatic than yours was. Donuts. Oh, it's that guy. Shit. 
Look at that. Spooky. A fucking ghost. <laughs> His clone ends up in the dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. These choices, yeah. Yours. Uh, introduce. Hello, my name is Connor. Never seen an android like you before. Modeler. Do you Answer. RK-800. I'm a prototype. Fuck t -shirt. A prototype? Android detective. So machines are gonna replace us all. Is that yes. it? Yes. Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! Oh, hello. Oh, God, you know what annoys people the most when they shout at you? When you ignore them? I gave you an order! I know, right? I'm sorry. But I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> when a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? No. Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. He's next to die. He's on my bucket list now. I have an option. He's dead. I don't like him. <laughs> and she's dead too. Him. You should have just refused. I'm gonna shoot them both. Well, I pissed them off though, didn't it? If you just say no, they're like. It just annoys them a bit. If you just completely ignore them. Yeah, being ignored makes you wanna like rip somebody's throat out, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I know what it's like to be ignored. When I used to piss off my mum, my mum would ignore me. It was the worst feeling in the world. When he ignores me, I feel like I'm gonna rip up my own face. It's just I can't deal with it. I just can't. <laughs> no. What are you guys talking about? Ah, see? Now you're doing it. Oh, public opinion. God damn it. Yeah, I ruined the public opinion, Noodle. Great job! Yeah, Noodle, you jackass! <laughs> hey, what's in there? Whatever. I love like, hi, I'm Connor. Oh, nice. And it's like, no, fuck you, you get your own fucking drink. He's killing people. He's ruining public opinion. At least we're trying to save people. He's fucking glitched and just freaking the fuck out. <laughs> what the hell is that guy doing? He's fucked. Uh, I've done a lot of waiting. Is that the guy that was... A yeah. dick. We should piss in his fucking bin. We're an android. <laughs> we can't pee. We can squirt out oil. Give oil, right? Goo goo. Goo goo juice. Goo goo juice. Goo goo juice. Oh, wait. Hey, what's all this? Let's go through uh, Lieutenant Anderson's stuff. Oh, maybe. Or not. Oh. You can touch Hello, it. Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office! Lab report says they cut it with something. Enter and listen in, or explore the office. Enter and listen in. Oh. Oh, we've already explored the office. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. 
I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Oh, you got that? told, bitch! Colourful conversation. And they just added to it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, final. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Well, you're just rude. Piss in his basket, too. You could have got a copy. Have a nice you day. You could have got a copy of the file if you press the right button. Yeah, I didn't have enough time. We need to realise whose choice it is. It's slow. It's yours now. Are you sure? <laughs> because I had now with like ten choices. Which so one? Which one got picked? I don't know. The square one. Okay, it'll get. The it'll square just make one. It's interesting. We don't know what happened. <laughs> we just winged it. Yeah. We don't know what happened. Okay. It'll just make it interesting. Schmoopels' choice next. Then noodles. Then mine. Okay. <laughs> We're good with this. Schmoopels. Uh... Right. If we had a timer, you'd be out of time. Triangle. Just seems easy I to say understand triangle. the destruction of my predecessor <laughs> may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Noodle. Oh, it's locked. That sucks. Positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Yours? Partners. Now that we're partners, it's going to be great to get to know each other better. Do you hit you in the deck? Oh wait. Wow. Oh. I think. Desk. <laughs> Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. I knew it was going to be our desk. All right. Well, we've got. Man, everyone's just in a dick mood, aren't they? We've got a lock there. Can I go back in and ask for the file? Mm. Nope. Oh, God damn it! So nope. we just got to go sit on our desk yes, and find the files there. then. Oh, we actually got ourselves a little desk. Well, sit. Woof. Woof. Who's going there? You. Oh shit, it's mine. <laughs> We're getting so I hate that there's a lock there. That sucks. Fine, let's just... Have okay. you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Start working. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Back yourself out. Alright, this year we'll have to read, won't we? Yeah. Case reference to his appearance. Victim is Gordon Lopez. Reporting officer. Not important. Case assigned to Anderson. Case stays is open. Involving Android, yes. The plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found, no trace of a break-in in the apartment. The android may have left home without being ordered to. We haven't seen this one anywhere, have we? No. No. It's an AL series. Wee. Oh, oh, there's more. Him we've seen. Yeah, he him, was the him. one in the paint shop. It was he? Yeah. In the paint shop? Yeah. Case reference attack. Wasn't he the one that got stabbed in the face? No, he was in the pea shop. Remember when Marcus went to buy it and oh he did God. that really weird... He's the only ginger one we've seen. I thought he was the one who had the scar on his eye. Right. No. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by uh, that model. Android working as a waiter in a fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain. Situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims... The android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. It could actually be him. Mm. What's his name? Charles Bell. 
Charles, no, what no. was... No, it's not him. They've only got their numbers. They haven't actually got their names. Okay. So another one. Sarah Cornwell is the victim of this one here. Uh, this plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android. Uh, this model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of this shit going on here. Yeah, there's loads it's of cases. It's happening more and more and more. Yeah. It's another one. Okay, case restaurants, disappearance, victim, Floyd Miles. Some weird numbers. Case assigned to Anderson, case open, involving Android, yes. The plaintiff... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really hot and you're sticking to me. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported an unexplained disappearance of a sex android, that makes sense, model, whatever. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned off the club. Okay, so why she's probably still having sex. You can press square to scan all files. Yeah, I want to look through them all though. Ooh. Ooh, destroyed. Leo, Leo. Manfred. That Leo thing! Was, yeah, Leo was uh, famous painter Carl Manfred was found dead in his home following an altercation between his android and his son. The latter's witness statements attests the android to the android behaving violently. I cannot read Bullshit! Today. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. So Marcus is a is a prototype. Oh, a that's dime. why. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Victim Todd Williams. Yeah, the victim's body was found by a friend who came by to say hello. He immediately called the emergency services eight forty two, who recorded death by gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have been, may have belonged to the victim, his android. An AX400 was not found on the scene, and is it the main suspect? Oh boy! You haven't said anything about the daughter being missing, though. It's handy to have this, to know all this, actually. And no, they didn't say anything it's, about the daughter. It's no. basically showing your um, history, isn't it? So we've been yeah. suspected, but not guiltied. Yeah. And that's it. I can't see anymore. So we'll just okay. scan all the files. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have murdered a man last night. Yeah. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Oh shit. I what? Triangle. Direct. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Okay, I think you made him angry. Oh, God. Determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. Okay. I didn't come here to Take wait until you yet. feel like working. Oh. Listen, an asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Really Things are gonna get nasty. Oh God, you got the last uh, Lieutenant. I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Thank God we didn't pull out the gun. Oh, we're making some, uh, yeah, making some bad choices here. <laughs> we're just pissing people off. Yeah, we need to try and be Hank's friend. Okay. But that yeah. ain't working. I, I don't know what to do. Oh, it could have gone two ways. God damn it. Alright. That's interesting. I like the fact that he's going to be going after... Um, oh, God, what is the name of that? Kara. 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 So, like, what do we do at that point? I mean, do we want to make sure his investigation goes he shit can die. to make sure Carl gets the away? The choices will speak for themselves. Oh, my God. I already know get, what I'm doing. We're going to get pre -planning. Carl killed. You're pre-planning already. You're going to get Carl killed, aren't you? I don't know. I've been promised to that little girl that I'd never leave her. <laughs> that girl's going to be fine. He's going to die over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Connor. You're going to die. Ah. Outro? What?
that's what we're going to leave it for today, guys. If you all enjoyed, please hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Peace. Bye. <laughs>